Hello students. Today we are going to discuss in this video uh, of a quadratic equation when uh, both the roots are positive. Then what will be the condition and how our questions can be solved. Suppose this is the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and its roots are alpha and beta. Then sum of the roots is minus b by k and product of the roots is c by a. Now, if both roots are positive, then what will be the condition? So, what we can see is that first of all, both roots are positive, it means the roots will be real. Second, sum of the roots, since both roots are positive, the so sum of the roots should be greater than 0. Right? And third, and their product should also be greater than 0. And we'll solve these three equations and we'll take the common solution of that and that will give you the required result. So discriminant has to be greater than 0, sum of the roots should be greater than 0 and product of the roots should be greater than 0. Now we are uh, going to solve one question so that your concepts uh, are clear. Suppose we are taking a equation x square minus twice of 2m plus 1 x plus m into m plus 1 equals to 0 where m can take variable if both roots are positive find the interval interval in which m lies. Now what we can see is that we are just going to compare this thing ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. So we can see that a is two b is minus of 2 of 2m plus 1 and c is m into m plus 1. So what are the conditions? Condition to be both root uh, positive, to be both roots positive. First of all, d should be greater than equal to 0. Second, sum of the roots should be greater than 0 but product of the roots should also be greater than 0. So we are going to solve 1 by 1. So first condition we are using b greater than equal to 0. So it means b square minus 4 ac should be greater than equal to 0. So b square you can see here that it is equal to 4 2m plus 1 whole square is greater than equal to 4 a means 2 and c means m into m plus 1. So 4 4 gets cancelled. So this is equal to 4m square plus 1 plus 4m is greater than equal to 2m square plus 2m. So what we can see that it is equal to 2m square minus 2m plus 1 greater than equal to 0. So m square minus m or plus 1 by 2 can be greater than equal to 0. So what we can see is that it is uh, like this 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 greater than equal to 0. So m minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 4 greater than equal to 0. So here m can be 
because it is a positive quantity, it is a positive sum of two positive quantities will always be greater than zero. Now we are going for second one. Alpha plus beta, it means minus three by two a should be greater than zero. So minus it means it is a twice of two m plus one upon two a. A means two is greater than zero. It means two m plus one greater than zero. So m is greater than minus one by so this is the second solution. Now we will go for third one. Alpha beta, it means C by A should be greater than U. So C is M into M plus 1 and A is simply to greater than U. So M is from minus infinite to minus 1 union 0 to infinite. So this is the third solution. Now we will take common solution. So we can see what are the values here. We are taking a say for minus one, minus one by two. We are taking a zero. It is minus infinite and it is going to be infinite. So first case, since it is all their values, so no need to plot. In second case, it is from minus one by two to infinity. And second one is from minus infinite to minus one. And it is from zero to infinite. So what is the common solution? Common solution is from 0 to infinity. So m is from 0 to infinity. So this is the required solution. So you can see here where both roots are positive. We'll compare like this and then we'll write down the conditions here. This should be getting equal to 0. Alpha plus beta should be greater than 0. And alpha beta should be greater than 0. And first of all, we find first solution, second solution, and solution based on the third condition and take the take the general solution, uh, common solution. So what we are finding that common solution is from 0 to infinity. So that's all in this video. The rest will discuss in the next video. Thanks.